So our topic for today is derivative of inverse functions. I mean, you knew it was coming, right? <clears throat> well, they're late. Yeah, tutoring is today after school if you need it. So tutoring will be one hour after school today. Okay, so the first theorem, we're not going to write this on a note card because it is, well, that, that is what's going on the note card. So if you've oh, already okay. written that, that's fine. Just hold it for a minute. So we're going to cover one theorem before we cover this note card. So you've just got your note card ready to go. Okay. So the first theorem we need to discuss is if f is a one-to-one -one continuous function. Well, let's work on that condition first of all. Does a function have to be continuous? Does it have to be continuous to have an inverse? No. no. But does it have to be one to one? Yes. 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 So it does have to be one to one in order for you to have an inverse. So we're now combining those two things. If a function is a one to one continuous function, on an interval. So that just means I can restrict that domain. So how about half of a parabola? Is that a one-to-one -one continuous function? Sure. Yeah, it is. But you're restricting the domain so that you're forcing it to be a one-to-one -one function. So if we have this, then the inverse, which we call f negative one, is also continuous. <coughs> if you take a graphical approach to this theorem, shouldn't that make sense? If you're just going to reflect a continuous function over that line y equals x, wouldn't it still be, it would still be continuous, correct? And let's go back to this one-to-one -one thing. This one-to-one -one thing has to happen so that when we reflect it, it is really still a function. If the original function was not one-to-one, -one, you would end up having two points that are what? In relation to each other. What does one-to-one -one ensure? That they're not... Hmm. So what does one-to-one -one mean again? It has to pass what? It has to pass the horizontal line test. Vertical, so it's a function, but it has to pass the horizontal line test. Mm -hmm. So what does the horizontal line test ensure? That they're both two of the same y value. No points have the same y value, correct. That means they're not beside each other. Yeah. So back up and think about that. If you had two points that were beside each other, but you reflected it around that line y equals x, then those two points that were beside each other would turn out being on top of each other. And would it be a function? No. no. Because then it would fail the vertical line test, right? So that's why your original function has to pass both, horizontal and vertical, so that when you reflect it, it'll still pass the vertical. You got that, Wyatt? Do I need to show you graphically? Did you say yes or no? No. Okay. All right. So let's make our note card then. <clears throat> so note card 56, derivative of an inverse function, and this is a theorem. So derivative of an inverse function theorem. Let's talk about it first, and then I'll give you a chance to copy it. So make sure you understand it, then you can have a chance to copy this note card. So if f is a one-to-one -one differentiable function, and it has an inverse function that we're calling g, and the derivative of the original function at the inverse does not equal zero. 
then the inverse function g is differentiable at a and we can find it so see this is telling us to find the derivative of the what what is g <coughs> inverse this is telling us we can find the derivative of the inverse without ever really finding the inverse function the way you do it is you're going to take a fraction you're going to put one over the derivative of the original function <clears throat> at the inverse value so as long as you can find the value you don't actually have to switch x and y and solve and find that new function and then take the derivative so notice this has to occur at a value a so this is when we're looking for numerical answers not function answers okay so i'll show you how to apply it in just a second so go ahead and copy that note card <clears throat> 